Last week, Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel proved unequivocally that he can no longer govern the city of Chicago. Emanuel demonstrated his unfitness for the office by creating a proposed consent decree with Illinois, General, uh, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan that would place the Chicago Police Department under the scrutiny of a special monitor guided by the 200-page decree. This hostile takeover of the police department will effectively handcuff the police. The simplest duties and assignments will be fraught with so many bureaucratic and legal burdens that the police will be neutralized. Officers will no longer combat violent crime, leaving the most vulnerable members of the city exposed to constant real threats of violence. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions has dismissed the effectiveness of consent decrees generally and specifically ridiculed the Department of Justice investigation of the Chicago Police Department under the Obama administration that was used to justify Chicago's proposed consent decree. That Mayor Emanuel can impose this exceedingly expensive consent decree in a city already immersed in violent crime challenges one's imagination. It exposes clearly the extremes to which Emanuel will go to get reelected. As this proposed consent decree is little more than a pandering to factions within the city the mayor believes are essential for re-election. In placing citizens under such a threat merely to win re-election, Emanuel proves yet again he is little more than a Chicago political hack. That the mayor claims a consent decree is necessary for more oversight is a canard. The record clearly shows that the Fraternal Order of Police has been more than willing to negotiate reform measures, reform measures that are meaningful and will prove to be effective. Equally important, this proposed consent decree comes in the wake of the Emanuel administration paying out hundreds of millions of dollars in alleged police misconduct cases that should have gone to trial, cases that are rife with evidence that they are completely fraudulent. Why is there no investigation of this corruption? Rahm's legacy is becoming clear bankrupt the city, then leave, it, then leave it simmering in violent crime. What price does Rahm Emanuel think the people should pay so that he can get reelected? Chicago, Chicago voters should read the handwriting on the wall and send Rahm Emanuel packing.